okay so in this video I'm going to show you how to make a tree so I'm going to show you how to uh, make the uh, the base of the tree all the branches and all that in Maya and then I'm going to show you in Photoshop how to me how to create the uh, the leaves and then we're going to bring everything back to Maya so that we can have this tree now this uh, this is the ideal way of making trees for video games just because you can have more control over the poly count and you know you can have a lower poly tree so let's go ahead and get started let me just delete this so I'm going to uh, I'm going to tell you every step that I do just so that you can follow and you don't get lost even if you're a beginner in Maya so first things first I'm going to press spacebar go to my front view right here spacebar one more time and I'm going to create CV curve tool okay make sure it's that one I'll select that and you get this and you're basically going to draw the base of the tree so let's do that click once click one more time one more time and let's leave it this way when you're done just press enter and that's what you get now spacebar one more time let's go to our perspective view you can see this right there now let's go to create NURBS primitives make sure it's a NURBS primitives not a polygon primitives NURBS primitives and select the circle okay now depending on how high poly you want this to be you can have it like really round or you can reduce the the uh, the density of it so if you want to do that uh, let's get our attribute editor here you can click in here I think it's one of these or just press ctrl A press ctrl A one more time and we get this now we have our history is enabled if you don't have your history enabled make sure that this button is uh, checked like this so that you have your history so click here where it says make NURB circle and here we can change the sections for our circle right now it's set to 8 now we want to set that if you want it to be lower polygon maybe a 5 see what that looks like I'll probably leave it at a, at a 5 you can you can have it lower depending on your your poly count or your, how dense you want it to be so I'll make this one smaller slightly so now that I have my circle and my curve here I'm going to select the circle first and then shift select the the curve now we're going to this sub menu and you see that we are working on polygons that's what you work on when you're modeling something now we're going to change that to surfaces right now now you see that our menus changed up here so now we we'll click where it says surfaces and we're going to click on the extrude options box make sure it's the options box so that you get this now we want to set this to 2 we want to set this at path component profile normal make sure these are all selected I'll probably leave these this way now we wanted to change these to polygons yours is probably set to NURBS but you want to change it to polygons okay make sure that's set to polygons and we're going to set it to control point right here now say extrude and we get this now mine has a texture let me get rid of that so that we don't have any texture selected here okay so that's what we get and now since we have our history enabled 
if we select the circle say if we scale that with R select the middle one and scale that in you see that the whole thing scales according to our circle so that's pretty cool we can also if we select our the extruded surface if we go to extrude one if you click on the word that says scale click on the actual word and now use the middle mouse click and just kind of drag see what that's doing it's kind of making the top smaller or the other way around if you wanted to like this we're gonna make this smaller okay let me make this slightly bigger select the now if you want to more divisions here of course you can add those uh, with the edge loops and if you wanted to you can start moving things like an edge loop if you double click on it you can start shaping it according to whatever you want to or also you could do that the same way if you selected the the actual curve so move that to the side if see when you move the curve you're actually even moving the object so the curve is a part of the object but if you have the curve selected and say you uh, right mouse click hold it and if you choose control ver vertex you don't see it right now because uh, the actual geometry is on the way so that's a little if we isolate select do the same so we can change that and if we look back our actual model changes with the curve just wanted to show you that in case you didn't know so let's go back to what we have so if you delete the actual curve you see you delete the, the geometry so you don't want to do that so first you select your geometry now that you know that you're done doing any changes to it you're done with the circle and all that you're happy with what you have if you go to edit delete by type history so now we can select that curve and we can just delete it and our geometry is still there because it's not it's not interacting with that curve anymore nor this is not interacting with it anymore either so we can delete that now we have this and we're going to duplicate that and kind of rotate things around and place things so that we have the branches but first before we do that let's go to window UV texture editor now the nice thing about doing that from the curve is that we don't have to change the UVs they're already good for us see how our UVs are already done for us we don't have to do any any UVs so what I want to do is just make sure that it covers the quadrant here so I'm going to polygon layout and make sure that is set to world and just hit layout UVs this way it's uh, lined up the way we want it and also I wanted to cover the whole square so I'm not wasting any space I'm actually going to scale that this way just so I'm not wasting any space let me do that layout one more time just to make sure okay so now that we have the UVs we have this object you can just go to edit and duplicate and the quickie for that is control D and you can move that and scale that and we're going to use that for our branches and I'm going to make up many duplicates here just so that 
there's no problems later okay so as I said you can start to say change the shape of this to whatever you want it to be and you can start placing your branches wherever you want them to be as well and you don't really have to connect the geometry you can just have them like this overlapping this way of course if you want to continue to kind of change the shape of what you have of course you can do that control D to duplicate make many duplicates this one as well and you can select this the base here and if you click here to make the object live now if you move this one you see that it snaps to the object so right now it's all about just putting things into place just so that you have something that you that you like and that uh, it's going to work for you so that's basically how you continue to place everything all the branches you know make just make sure that they make sense it makes sense where you're placing all the branch all the branches just so that it's not just some arbitrary uh, position just make sure you it makes some sense okay so for the sake of time I'm going to leave it this way just so that I mean you can add more branches if you wanted to but I'm just gonna leave it this way for now now if you select the whole object if you look at the UVs you see that they're overlapping and that's, that's exactly what we want and it looks everything's already done we didn't have to do much really so this is how the tree is going to this is the, the base So in the next video, I'm going to show you how to, we're going to Photoshop and I'll show you how to make the actual leaves and uh, the texture for, for the tree so that we can, and then we're going to bring everything back to Maya.